Um, let's see. I'm going to start with my Mystic Martian deck. See what kind of alien you are. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, oh, shit. Accidentally dropped that guy. Let me see what it is. Might be relevant. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so, oh yeah, it's Happy Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos. Today is a good day to honor the departed. Um, in Central America, they would play music and light candles and put food aside for their or bring food to the grave sites of, you know, the people that have departed. Um, I typically just, like, leave a plate out here <laughs> where I am. Uh, but, uh, you know, my ancestors always know where to find me. So, it's just what it is. Um, yeah, so, to those of you who are celebrating, you know... Good on you, mate. <laughs> and uh, also, we had Halloween yesterday, so happy All Hallows Eve. Happy late All Hallows Eve, I guess. Yikes. Um, Alright, so let's see. Naga. So, lovers, erotica, sensuality. Um, with the Blue Avians, philosophy, releasing karma, and mysticism. Um, these together kind of make me feel like there's a, a lesson to be learned in this connection, in a connection, right? It could be a karmic connection. We have a lot of those in our life, right? <laughs> and then Genghis Khan has, like, the most, <laughs> uh, but releasing karma... And with the lovers, you know, I, I just really heavily feels like a karmic relationship kind of energy for me. Um, it's kind of like when the lovers come out and then the tower, <laughs> you know, that's kind of a similar energy, I guess. Um, but this is definitely something that it's part of a spiritual pursuit. We have the Sun, Leo energy, followed up by the Six of Wands in reverse. The Sun is like a victory, feeling abundant, feeling like wish fulfillment, having everything that you want, right? Six of Wands in reverse is, well, it says victory at the bottom, but it's in reverse, right? So, Six of Wands is oftentimes like getting the recognition or the attention that you'd like. Like, maybe you're not feeling like you're getting the same kind of recognition or attention that you once were getting in your connection. Um, you may be feeling like you're just kind of there. So we have Prince of Cups in reverse and Prince of Wands in reverse. Right, Prince of Cups in reverse indicates like no longer like having feelings or emotions for somebody. Um, kind of like not in that anymore. 
Prince of Wands in reverse can indicate you haven't communicated that yet, right? Um, the Hermit tells me almost that you'd prefer to be alone or you'd prefer to not be um, tied down. Um, and the Hermit is Virgo energy, so it's, you know, very grounded energy too. And I feel like you feel more stable in your solitude or you like, maybe you, Maybe there's more. Let's find out. But I feel like you're taking time for some introspection. Um, maybe seeking divine guidance on how to address this situation. With the Prince of Cups in reverse and the Prince of Wands in reverse, you could be the younger party in your connection. Um, and it's also kind of like feeling like maybe you're not quite... Where you feel like you should be for that kind of connection, I guess. Uh, let's elaborate further. Um, definitely feels like you're just not feeling it, but you're also not communicating that. Mm -hmm. I did suspect. Yeah, um, Queen of Pentacles. Indicates like an older female, right? Or take it as it resonates, you know, somebody who's in their feminine. Um, but this is somebody who, with the Prince of Discs showing up, it's almost like you feel like you guys are at different levels, right? Like the Prince of. <laughs> It's like you're trying, you're over here focusing on, you know, growing your finances or whatever. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, though, it's like she's already, like, established herself, like, established a family, already established in certain ways. Prince of Discs is like, you haven't yet. And maybe you feel like this connection is a little uneven. Or, like, you know, you don't know how to, like, be in it. <laughs> I guess is a good, the best way to put it. Because um, these are not divine counterparts, right? The Prince of Discs and the Queen of Discs, right? Um, and I feel like you're kind of understanding that. Especially with the sudden, sudden shift in your feelings. The reason that I do feel that this is like a love connection is because the Nagas came up first. Um, but it's almost like, I don't know why, but it's, uh, this meme is coming to my mind where it said um, a 26 year old with three kids is older than a 38 year old with no kids. You know, and that's kind of the energy I'm feeling. Like, this is somebody with the Queen of Pentacles who has had to, like, establish themselves. They've already lived a lot of life. They're already at a certain place. And with the Prince of Discs and the, you know, you're showing up as the Prince. So it's kind of like, you feel like you still have a lot of life ahead of you. Or, like, you haven't reached certain milestones. And it makes you feel, like... It makes it kind of harder to have this connection, I guess is the best way to put that. Because it's almost like you'd rather somebody who's like, whose life is compatible with your life, right? Who doesn't have the same limitations, or you don't have the same limitations, right? Being the prince versus the queen. The queen has a lot of limitations, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of shit going on right and you're kind of like well I don't have all that and I can't relate to that and that's kind of something that you wanted to grow with somebody versus finding somebody who had already grown it for themselves um which is fair that's understandable it's like you wanted to grow with them you didn't want to have to meet them and grow to where they're at um
Yeah, because with the Emperor, the Two of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands, I feel that you feel like you'd be forced to, like, have to grow up or forced to, like, step into this Emperor role straight from being a prince, like, skipping all the king roles, you know, you're going straight from, like, prince to emperor, right? Um, and three of wands, this is something that you, you thought you wanted, but it was, like, as soon as it came up, as soon as the reality of it showed up, there's a lot of, like, weighing pros and cons here right and i feel like you're starting to understand the pros and cons of that connection um maybe you know and it's kind of like maybe you're you're making kind of a decision like is this worth taking that kind of leap into the next step is that really the direction you want to take your life right now or are you you know, like, let's see, because it really looks like you feel like you just have to grow so much so fast to get there, right, to be where this person would need you to be, to be with them, you know, The eon in reverse. You don't feel like this is something that's going to last forever. And I feel like that's the honest feelings that you're not communicating. Is you already feel this energy that it's not meant to last forever. With the two of swords showing up. It's like this very emotional guarded energy. Um... It's kind of like being at a crossroads. It's like, I, it's a, a, like a hesitancy to like be vulnerable or to be too like invested in this connection. With the Knight of Pentacles, it's like, this energy of like, you want to come through for this person but you don't know how, or like, you feel like it would just be such a leap to, to be that, right? The, the Knight of Pentacles is like all dressed up, all ready to go, you know, but then it's like also not moving, right? It's almost like, oh, this, the reality of it is a little fucking scary, right? Um... Ten of Cups in Reverse... Um, feeling like this is not your emotional abundance, right? Like, you don't feel better in this connection than you did before the connection, if that makes sense. Um, we have the Empress showing up, right? You see this person as, um, the Empress is a mother figure, right? This is somebody, and I keep getting that feeling with the Queen of Pentacles, and and with the emperor showing up she's a mother figure and also a creator also an artist also somebody you know um and this is like somebody who's kind of like had to adapt to life as it is right had to um had to create something right um but the Six of Pentacles, what is the Six of Pentacles here for? It's just like. The Five of Swords in Reverse. Six of Pentacles is like wanting to share like in finances or like, I hate putting it that way, 
but it's kind of like wanting to go to the next level, I guess, where shared income, shared life, shared all that. And I feel like you had this idea in your head about how that would look and all that. With the Five of Swords in reverse, I get this feeling, though, that also this energy of, like, realizing what you actually want versus, like, what you thought you wanted. Um, not wanting to hurt anybody. Also wanting to be honest with yourself. Because right now, it's almost like a deeper focus in, like, collaborations or what you could create together versus feelings. And... Six of Pentacles is a bit of a collaboration, like bringing your resources together and making something out of it. Um, but that seems like the biggest focus, and that's the one thing that has kind of like inhibited you from like bringing the sword and ending it, you know? Um, Six of Cups in reverse. This is a new person or somebody that you don't have extensive history with. Um, also, this could indicate that you don't have kids, right? And how the hell are you going to understand somebody who does <laughs> uh, kind of energy? Oop. That was an accident. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Um, just feeling like this isn't working out. The universe in reverse, but also ignoring the universe as it's telling you, right? Because it's it's almost like you, you're so stubborn that you want it to. The hanged man in reverse is saying obstacles will be removed from you, from you right? And this connection feels like it. The ace of discs in reverse, I feel like you're going to be letting go. Um... It just hella feels like this breakup energy, to be honest. It feels like an unmatched couple, if that makes sense. Like, um, like if you were to put each other on the scales and then you put all your responsibilities and all your obligations and all your everything on the scale together, you feel like there's a lot more weight on the queen's side of the scale, right? You feel like you'd be freer without them, less burdened down, less, um, Princess of Discs. I feel like you could have met somebody who's more on par with you, to be honest. Somebody who feels more of a match, right? The Prince and Princess of Pentacles. And that's part of it. <laughs> um, it's kind of like you made a connection with somebody who's more like in line with like where your life is and or you're meeting somebody um but it yeah it just feels like you're kind of realizing you know how much of a a load like you were taking on um with this other connection um so how would things be with this princess of disc right let's Let's just wipe the board, because I've got so many freaking cards here. Let's wipe this. Um, remember the cards I pulled, <laughs> right? Um, and I set all that shit aside. Because that's all the things that you're letting go of, right? That's all the things that you're kind of done with. Um, and I'd rather focus on 
what you're moving towards rather than away from. So Prince and Princess of Discs. Um, this is like a new connection. This is finding somebody whose life kind of matches yours. This is a divine connection, right? This is like, like soulmates, like your lives feel very parallel. You're at the same kind of place in your growth and your responsibilities and um, what you like, <laughs> you know, all kinds of stuff here. Um, it feels more tangible to you, more realistic for you. The devil, this could be Capricorn, especially with this earth energy coming through with the princess of discs. Um, or they could have heavy Capricorn in their chart. Um, with the chariot in reverse, you haven't made any moves towards this yet. It's almost like you just, it almost feels like you just met this person. With the seven of wands, um, this is kind of like thinking of how to get there, right? Or like which paths to take. This is really weighing your pros and cons here. And also, like, with the devil card, you could be trying to avoid temptation and trying to be, you know, the honorable one. Or do yourself... You know what I just realized, though, about this devil card is it kind of looks like a dick. <laughs> um, so, like, also, you know, I feel like this could talk about, like, somebody who, like, I don't have to be gross about it, but, like, arouses you, right? Their energy arouses you. This is somebody who, like, you feel, like, connected with. Um, so, let's see. swords you're worried that you're gonna hurt somebody ace of wands in reverse and that's why you haven't it's like you're really trying to avoid hurting somebody you're really trying to be a noble person in this situation and not do something to harm somebody um which is very honorable right it's like you're like you don't you feel like you'd be the bad guy too almost like i feel like that's part of this with the three of swords and the devil showing up is like you don't want to be the bad guy in this situation and I feel like you're really working to be like as honorable as possible and trying to like honor the connection you're already in and it doesn't make you a bad guy for your feelings to change right like bottom line anybody who's grown and mature especially you know somebody showing up in the queen of pentacles and empress energy somebody who's that grown and mature can understand like you know you finding something that's more suitable or that feels more suitable um is there anything else i knew it <laughs> you don't want to do anything foolish with the fool in reverse you don't want to be impulsive and hurt somebody um but you need to face the facts that are that really indicate here here put these where they belong that this is a burden, right? Ten of Wands. This is something that's really holding up your progress. 
it's I don't feel like like I said before the Eon showed up in reverse and that really indicates that like the connection that you're in was not really meant to be a forever connection right it's not meant to be forever um and with the sun card i do feel like you're moving towards something that feels happy something that feels real to you something that feels authentic and i mean you guys are really like this new connection that you're moving towards whether intentional or not it's there it's energetically opened up right and what I'm seeing here is that this is kind of like a match that it's an actual match right and where was I And if you guys, if this is a better match for you, then wasting time with this Queen of Pentacles will only just keep her from her divine counterpart, right? Because this is a better energetic match. This is two people who are on par with each other, right? The Prince and Princess of Discs, right? You're very young. You guys don't have as many responsibilities. You don't have as much going on. And whereas the Queen of Pentacles is like probably a workaholic, probably has, you know, a million responsibilities. Looks like a mother figure, especially with the Empress showing up. And, you know, like this is like some two individuals, two younger individuals who don't have like children or don't have all these extra responsibilities who don't who aren't like bound to that same kind of life and it's almost like this is somebody you could grow with versus somebody you have to grow into you know um so you know honor how you feel right above all like honor how you feel that's something that you we learn in satanism right i'm not a satanist but i did study it obviously um but with the devil is like it's all about honoring your feelings it's all about like you know being true to what comes through for you um and honestly that's something that i would say is probably my favorite part of the levian you know thing is that like it is all about honoring one's feelings and being true to you know what is real in in your life you know and not um not being so quick to like <clears throat> like don't feel bad about this all right, don't be so quick to feel like the bad guy in this situation because honestly it just happens it's just life you know we end up with mixed matched couples all over the place and the best thing you can do is just honor your feelings and be open about it you know um but yeah that's pretty much what i have for you i hope this was helpful namaste i love you guys and i will catch you later